is already famous for chicken. Now we're going to be famous for shrimp by frying it to perfection and pairing it with a blend of cocktail sauce and Zach sauce that we call Zach's tail sauce. A one-of-a-kind sauce for a one-of-a-kind shrimp. Woo, saucy! Zaxby's. Are you ready to sell your home and don't know which realtor to choose? Well, not all realtors are the same. I'm Crystal Copas, and I don't just stick a sign in the yard, throw it in the MLS, and hope to collect a commission. I provide a customized marketing plan that includes professional staging, photography, videography, and drone at no cost to you. Contact me, Crystal Copas, with Remax Real Estate Service, and let's get your house sold. 919-356-5402 or visit me at crystalcopas.com. Legacy commercial and residential construction. From concept to design, constructed to fit your lifestyle. We use only top quality finishes to make our house your home. Legacy commercial and residential construction. The Sand Hills residential and commercial builder of choice. Rise up more a new youth tackle football league in Moore County. We believe football is a catalyst to improve the mental and physical wellness of children and their families in all of Moore County by providing safe opportunities for all youth to learn tackle football. Kids will begin their development as athletes and learn the skills they need to achieve success in life as they prepare to lead the next generation. Are you ready to join us? For more information and for corporate sponsorships, visit riseupmore.com. Resilience, integrity, social intelligence, emotional regulation. Rise Up More. Subscribe today at riseupmore.com. It is my privilege to introduce our class of 2024 salutatorian this evening, Sadie Nicole Cobbs. 
Sadie is graduating, graduating with a weighted grade point average of 4.6282. She has been an integral part of the arts program at Northmore as a member of the marching band, concert band, as well as jazz band. Later this summer, after the successful completion of her remaining college coursework, Sadie will earn her associate's degree, associate in arts degree from Sand Hills Community College. Sadie. the beginning of a new chapter for all of us. Some of us will go to college, others into the workforce, and some of us have no clue what we're going to do. But that's all right. Throughout my high school career, things haven't always worked out exactly how I wanted them to, and something that I've learned from it is that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. As we reflect on our academic careers, I'm sure many of us recall times when we despised school. We hated doing assignments only for our efforts to go unrecognized, just to return the next day and do it all again. Experiencing this discouragement for many of us resulted in a burnout and sense of hopelessness. Some of us never took breaths or time to ourselves. Some of us went to school, worked a job or two, and never genuinely rested. Sometimes it's in times like these that we find the best opportunities and learn our best lessons. This brings me to the second thing I've learned. Give yourself time to rest. When the world weighs so much, sit down and take a breath. Find a way to appreciate what you have, put your best foot forward, and continue at your own pace. Everything will be okay. I've also learned that you can't get anywhere in life being conventional, although there's nothing wrong with such. The most successful people think outside of the box. They innovate, find solutions, and impact the world in unimaginable ways. Now think about the kindest people who face challenges with grace. They work to help others feel seen, encouraged, and not alone through both successes and failures, impacting individuals' worlds. I've learned that the most unconventional people are often the ones who have the greatest impact on others. Speaking of unconventional people, during my elementary education at Westmore, Dr. Seuss was an author frequently read to us as a class in the library. Before he got his start, he was rejected by 27 different publishers. There are great lessons that we can take from this. Learn from your shortcomings, keep your head held high, and keep putting one foot in front of the other because you will succeed. Perseverance is key. I'd like to leave you with a quote by Dr. Seuss. You are you, that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. Take with you a sense of confidence that you alone are enough. Aspire to grow and change for the better throughout your life, furthering your knowledge the whole way, and know that every single one of you here have the ability to accomplish great things with your life. Thank you. We are pleased to have with us today many special guests. Please stand as your name is called. Audience, hold your applause until each guest has been recognized. Our Board of Education members, Mr. Bob Levy, Board Chair, Ms. Shannon Davis, Board Vice Chair, our Senior Staff, Dr. Tim Locklear, Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Jamie Simon, Assistant Superintendent for Academics and Student Support Services. Ms. Jenny Purvis, Assistant Superintendent for Operations. Our Area Feeder School Principals, Ms. Jana Kennedy, Westmore Elementary School. Mr. Matthew Moore, High Falls Elementary School. Ms. Renee Robbins, Robbins Elementary School and Miss Ashley Priest, Elise Middle School. 
We are honored to have Mr. Chris Coble calling the names of our graduates. We would like to thank each of these individuals for their support of the Northmore High School and the class of 2024. to present our class of 2024 valedictorian, Paris Madison McCollum. Graduated, graduating with a weighted grade point average of 4.6622, Paris will be attending the University of North Carolina at Greensboro in the fall, where she plans to study psychology and education. This is actually Paris's second graduation of the year. In May, she earned an associate degree from Sand Hills Community College Ironically, Sandhills cannot confer her degree until they have received her final high school transcript. So, we'll have that on the way just as soon as we can. Paris? I just want to thank God because without him we would not be here today. Now with that being said, good evening parents, friends, faculty, distinguished guests, and the class of 2024. Congratu congratulations everyone on this amazing accomplishment. As we celebrate today, I want every single one of you to take a moment and stop. Stop to breathe the fresh air. Stop to appreciate the beauty that life holds. And stop to thank everyone who has helped you get past these four years. So I would like this to take this opportunity to thank my parents. So wherever you are, thank you, Mama, and thank you, Daddy. I love y'all so much. Through the good times and bad, we've made it through so many things. For instance, we made it through multiple alarm clocks that I personally missed. <laughs> a pandemic that stole our eighth grade graduation. I mean, come on now. Numerous fun days, which many of y'all skipped. And some of us lost some very important people in our lives that we wish could be here today. But we made it through and I could not be more proud of us. While some of us did not have the ideal high school musical experience, others did. To me, high school went by in a flash. I remember it like it was yesterday, becoming best friends with Quizlet. That was freshman year. Then sophomore year came, and we all vented to Miss Roberts about all of our troubles and played Blue Kit in Mr. George's room. When junior year arrived, it felt like high school just started. Taking Mr. Fury's class and then offing out of pre cal because we all thought it would be too hard. And then suffering through chemistry. When senior year came around, no one told us how stressful this year was going to be. However, I wouldn't change it for the world. My high school experience is something I will never forget. And I hope you had similar experiences bus rides home from tennis matches, where we all jammed out while Miss Little drove the bus, the crazy adventures with the cheer team, or playing mermaids at swim breakfast. Maybe your high school experience was not the same. Maybe it was riding the bus home, listening to your favorite song while staring out the window, or doing everything you could in the shadows because you didn't want to bring attention to yourself. Or maybe it was just getting by. Whatever your high school experience entails, I hope you have no regrets. So no matter how much I hate endings, this chapter in our book is coming to a close. We don't get a second chance. Tomorrow, we will wake up high school graduates. Some of us will enter the workforce, others will go off to college, and some will serve our country, which we thank you. 
As I look back at what we've done at this school, I cannot help but be thankful. I'm so grateful to those of you who have helped us overcome so many obstacles to get to this day. As life goes on, we will go our separate ways, and I wish every single one of you the absolute best. So congratulations again, Mustangs. We did it. Before I close, I want y'all to know I had a hard time choosing which quote to end with. But if you know me, you know who inspires me the most. So in the words of Hannah Montana, I always knew this day would come. We'd be standing one by one with our future in our hands. So many dreams, so many plans. I always knew after all these years, there'd be laughter and there'd be tears, but never thought I'd walk away with so much joy but so much pain, and it's so hard to say goodbye. friends in the class of 2024. As we gather to celebrate the remarkable achievements of our graduating class, it is my honor to introduce our principal, Joseph Patterson, whose leadership, dedication, and unwavering commitment have significantly influenced the educational journey of each of us. Mr. Patterson is a proud alum of Pinecrest High School and obtained his undergraduate degree at Appalachian State University. He later obtained a master's degree in school administration at the University of North Carolina at Pembroke. Mr. Patterson has been integral in the Moore County School System as this will mark his 27th year. Throughout his career, he has spent 13 years teaching at Union Pines High School and 12 and a half years as the assistant principal of North Moore. In 2023, acknowledged for his dedication and leadership, he was appointed principal of North Moore High School. Beyond his Behind his warm smile lies a leader who is approachable yet firm, caring deeply for each student. Beyond his administrative duties, he actively supports athletics and can often be found here in Mustang country, cheering on his own children and other students. Please join me in expressing our deepest appreciation to Mr. Patterson for his exemplary service and dedication. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our esteemed principal, Mr. Patterson, to the stage. I wish I was as good as some of uh, some of them that can that have memorized a good portion of their speech. I am not that way. As soon as I get up here, I get nervous looking at all you guys. So I will do probably more reading than they did. Um, but good evening, class of 2024. I can't believe we're already we're at this point already. This year has really flown by. This has been another year of huge successes uh, across the board. This class has accumulated over $2.6 million in scholarships. Our athletic teams continue to have successful seasons and the arts and CTE programs have proven again that we are small, but we are a force to be reckoned with. Okay, to our seniors. I'm, I'm just excited to be here with all of you celebrating this huge milestone in your lives. I think back to when you were freshmen. You could only attend school two days a week, and when you did, what y'all have to do? Mask up. So athletics didn't even start till November, which as you heard in, in, uh, with Sophia, I love going to athletic events, did not start till November. And what do you have to do? Mask up. You had to wear a mask for everything, including the school musical. Uh, Ms. Fielder Jones sent me pictures just the other day of Lion King with masks. Uh, so we did everything, everything with masks. Times were quite a bit different, but you came to school, did your best, and didn't complain. Well, most of the time. <laughs> this class is extra special for me because I have one graduating. And it seems like I get to know that class a little bit better uh, when I have one of my own kids involved. 
Maybe it's because I follow them a little with a little different lens. I think that I think back to how much you guys have changed and matured. Every year, I try to think back about the things I'm going to miss about a particular group. When thinking about this group, I'm going to miss uh, what I'm going to miss the most. I think about the students who stop by to talk or really avoid trying to go to class. I think about the smiles, and I'll be honest, this group has some of the biggest and brightest smiles. I think about all the ball games that I've seen with you and your parents. I think about the plays and performances, just amazed at how it seems the quiet ones seem to have the most confidence on stage. I think about the band performances and how they just keep staying strong year after year. Don't know how they do it, but they do. I think about all the successes through the CTE program. With that said, it makes it a little harder to see, to see you go. So as both your principal and a proud parent, this moment is incredibly meaningful. It's been a wonderful journey watching you grow over these past few years. You face challenges head on, adapted to changes, and come out stronger. From ball games to school dances, late night study sessions, practices or rehearsals, to early morning classes, you've experienced it all and I've had the great pleasure of spending time with many of you, hearing your dreams and seeing your talents shine. High school is more than just academics. It's a place where you've discovered who you are, built friendships, learned important life lessons, and each of you has left a mark on Northmore. And I want you to know how proud I am of all of your accomplishments. I was at Austin's senior banquet at church and I heard something that made me think about what I really wanted to challenge you guys with. That said, as you move forward into the next chapter of your life, I have a simple but important challenge for you. Make it count. So what do I mean? It means taking every opportunity and making the most of it. It means being present in every moment, learning from every experience, not letting life just pass you by, whether you're heading to college, starting a job, traveling, or just figuring out your next steps, put your heart into everything you do. Making it count also means being kind and making a positive impact on the people around you. And we know this as what? The Mustang way. Small acts of kindness can make a big difference. Be a friend, be a mentor, a helper. Leave a positive mark wherever you go. To the parents and families, thank you for being there every step of the way. Your support and love have been the backbone for these students' successes. To our dedicated teacher and staff, your guidance and hard work have made this day poss possible. You've helped shape these young adults into the people they are today. And to my son and, the, and all the graduates, as you move forward, remember to embrace new experiences, face challenges with courage, and always strive to make a difference. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep making it count. Congratulations, class of 2024. We are so proud of you. Thank you. Good evening. I uh, just want to give a quick reminder that family members are asked to please stand as your graduate is announced. And but please remember this is a dignified event and hold all applause until all graduates have crossed the stage.
Unique, Symmetra, Adams. Anthony Aguilar Exiga. Casey Madison Allen. Guadalupe Altamirano Ortiz. Colt Tyler Amley. Jonas Angeles, U.S. Marine Corps. Morelli Silmarie Arzate. Ricky Gonzalez Betancourt. You hear Regoza Betancourt. Aaliyah Nicole Black. Bailey Blue. Madison Brady. Josie Aaron Britt. Jordan Manaya Brower. Carmen Francis Brown. Johnny MacArthur Burton. Christina Camacho Garcia. Leslie Catalan Avila. Kennedy Page Cawthon. Cum laude, top career and technical education senior. Brittany Chavez. Wow, let's go! Dustin Glenn Crisco. Emily Faith Chrisley. Gareth Ross Chrisley. Diana Cisneros Maria. Caleb Grayson Cockman. Jillian Beth Cockman. Michael Martavius Copeland. Ava May Corpheus. Sadie Nicole Cox. Veronica Ann Cox. Caden Lee Craig.
Christian Nashawn Davis. Cohen Andrew Davis. Osvaldo Deloya Hernandez. Jonathan Dominguez Reyes. Jeremy Eric Dow. Sydney Elise Dunaway. Ranger Lee Dunlap. Luke Michael Dutton. Ashley Faye Dyer. Nathaniel Allen Dyer. Manuel Felix Miguel. Hell yeah! <laughs> Isabel Marie Flores. Eduardo Flores Flores. Ricardo Flores Jimenez. Carla Flores Reyes. Anderson Francisco Toledo. Elliot James Fur. Brandon Tyler Garner. Cassie Leanne Garner. Kristen Ashley Garner, magna cum laude. Jakari Storm Gillis. Elizabeth C. Gonzalez. Destiny Rochelle Green. Ladeni Guerrero Gonzalez. Rami Guerrero Gonzalez. Lizeth Guerrero Pisano. Wendy Ann Guyton. Kayla Shea Hardy. Christopher Hernandez Jimenez. Jason D. Hodges. Hannah Lynn Hunt, cum laude. Autumn Brooke Puzzy. Shauna Marie Ingram Ratliff. Kenny David Jimenez DeLoya. Haley Marie Kennedy, cum laude. Hannah Elise Kennedy.
Joshua Ray Kennedy. William Michael Kennedy. Cody Bryant Kimball. Kayanna Brooke King. Alexa Lynn Lamons. Jasmine Lira. Matthew Lee Lopez. Sadie Alexa Lopez. Renee Lopez Garcia. Mason Levi Lucas. Scarlett Elizabeth Lynn. Woo! Bryson Benton Mackay Manus. Dana Lynn Manus. Dustin David Lee Manus. Logan Maley Manus. Cum laude. Angelica Martinez Garcia Cum laude. Montserrat Martinez Martinez. Jada Alasia Mason. Dylan Chase May. <laughs> Paris Madison McCollum Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Jacob Payton McDaniel. <laughs> Liliana Mejia Cruz. Yeah. Kayla Nicole Monroe, cum laude. Joshua Gary Montgomery. Woo! Antonio Giovanni Moore. Caden Kale Moore. Alexis Caroline Morgan. Darnell Francis Morgan. John Michael Matola. Holden Curry Myrick Cum laude. Sawyer Curtis Knoll. Lydia Lane Nelson. Jeleni Ocampo. Joseph Austin Patterson. <laughs> Megan Laurel Penny.
Michaela Cheyenne Perez. Emmanuel Perez Palma. Allie Ann Priest. Sabrina Polito Rodriguez. Rogelio Blancas Rebelar. Alexander Rebelar Collin. Alejandro Reyes Aguirre. Daisy Reyes Rebelar. Colby Andrew Ritchie. Charlie Mashan Ritter, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Page Ritter. Joseph Addison Ritter, Cum Laude. Logan Lee Roberts, Magna Cum Laude, U.S. Marine Corps. Uziel Rodriguez. Ashley Josefina Rodriguez Catalan. Abigail Parent Chief Rogers. Nathan Evan Rogers, U.S. Marine Corps Reserve. Betsy Yamalet Rojo Garcia. <laughs> Sophia Martha Romero, magna cum laude. Yuritzi Marilu Romero Polito. Kara Nicole Rouse, cum laude. Daniel Adonai Celes Vicente. Giovanni Salgado Zamora. Diana Sanchez Nava. Michaela Phelan Sanders. Amar Garcia Sandoval. Victor Oswaldo Santa Ayala. Jaden Lee Scott. Aiden Lucas Shaw. Olivia Cheyenne Sykes. Ariana Michelle Smith.
Benjamin David Smith. Soraya Ann Stone. Finally! <laughs> Jakia Destiny Lachey Tanner. John Joseph Thomas. Cohen David Thompson. Corey Ann Upchurch. Christopher Velasquez Avila. Camden Allen Best. Rachel Lynn Von Cannon Cum Laude. Devon Keyshawn Wall. Michael Austin Wallace. Natalie Grace Walter. Brendan Kale Williams. Samantha Hannah Renee Sue Williams. Trent O'Neill Williams. Cameron Miles Wright. Thank you guys, congratulations. Senior Class President Ranger Lee Dunlap to join me on stage for the ceremony, ceremonial turning of the tassel from right to left. Seniors, please stand. Okay. By the power vested in me, by the Department of Public Instruction and the Moore County, Moore County Board of Education, I now pronounce you graduates of Northmore High School. Please turn your tassel to the left. Congratulations! Zaxby's is already famous for chicken. Now we're going to be famous for shrimp by frying it to perfection and pairing it with a blend of cocktail sauce and Zax sauce that we call Zax tail sauce. A one-of-a-kind sauce for a one-of-a-kind shrimp. Woo, saucy! Zaxby's. Are you ready to sell your home and don't know which realtor to choose? Well, not all realtors are the same. I'm Crystal Copas, and I don't just stick a sign in the yard, throw it in the MLS, and hope to collect a commission. I provide a customized marketing plan that includes professional staging, photography, videography, and drone at no cost to you. Contact me, Crystal Copas, with REMAX Real Estate Service, and let's get your house sold. 919-356-5402 or visit me at crystalcopas.com.
legacy commercial and residential construction. From concept to design, constructed to fit your lifestyle. We use only top quality finishes to make our house your home. Legacy commercial and residential construction. The Sand Hills residential and commercial builder of choice. Rise up more. A new youth tackle football league in Moore County. We believe football is a catalyst to improve the mental and physical wellness of children and their families in all of Moore County by providing safe opportunities for all youth to learn tackle football. Kids will begin their development as athletes and learn the skills they need to achieve success in life as they prepare to lead the next generation. Are you ready to join us? For more information and for corporate sponsorships, visit riseupmore.com. Resilience, integrity, social intelligence, emotional regulation. Rise Up More. Subscribe today at riseupmore.com. 